Hey guys, the dive bomb shipment showed up, so we're getting ready for early season here. Putting together these decoys, I take two more steps than probably what most of you guys are doing, and I want to explain that and show you that real quick like. Uh, I don't particularly like when the stakes are sliding in the decoy like that. I want them to be solid, so I use just a little bit of Gorilla Glue along that top edge. Now this stuff's gonna expand like three times as much as what it looks like when you put it on, so be very aware of that. Just a little dabble do ya right on the top. That's from my old shop teacher. Uh, along with putties or buddy, and uh, measure once, cut twice. Those were a few more lines that we went by in the old shop class. So um, I put a little bit of glue right there on top of the decoy and then slide the stake down and I just take a rubber mallet or whatever and kind of beat the stake down flush with the top of the decoy. And then I set those aside for a day and they dry. I like to usually put a little, uh, the plastic that the decoy came in, I'll put that in between just so I don't get glue expanding and wrecking a bunch of other stuff. Um, one more step that I use is I take and I separate the feeders and the actives. So all the uprights go in their own bags and then all the feeders go in their own bags. And I'm going to predominantly use just the feeders during the early season because of the uh, social, mm, kind of the, the social environment that's going on with the geese right there. That feeder decoy just shows a perfectly relaxed, content, focused on feeding kind of a goose. Any big bull Canada, big upright is like, bring it on, let's fight. And that's the last thing that the birds in the air want to bring their little ones into a big ball, a big bar brawl, so to say. So I use like 90% feeders, maybe 100% feeders in the early season. And so all these bags will get uh, probably spray painted on the outside, feeder and active, um, or they'll be marked some way, shape, or form, and we'll know what we've got to work with. But for the most part, the actives are probably just gonna stay in the shop for the first few weeks. Thanks much. Good luck out there.